Hello, I'm Danny Lightning, and we got a War Robots giveaway for you today. I hope you like giveaways, because we have a giveaway for you today. It is a small giveaway, but it is seven Titan shotguns. The brand new ones that are destroying everything. So if you would like to try and win one of these, you got to make sure you watch the video and follow the rules and instructions because there's so many people who don't actually get entered because they don't listen to the video or do what they need to do and then they miss out on a chance to win. So watch the video. The next three minutes will explain what you need to do and how it works. Now, if you haven't already, you might want to hit that like button and that subscribe button. That way you get notified of more giveaways or when we announce the winners. These are the winners from last week's solar drone giveaway. So congratulations. Unfortunately, there were only three people, but those are the winners right there. If you purchase something on the Warbots web shop, don't forget to use author code Danny Lightning, all lowercase in one word, that helps support my channel, and you might find some discounts over there as well. There's a link to the web shop in the video description. Thank you. This is a much larger giveaway, and what you need to know is everybody has the same exact chance to win. We pick the random the we pick the winners. The winners are picked with a random comment picker tool and it's completely random. All right, I, I messed this whole thing up, but you guys get the idea. All the winners are picked randomly. Gosh darn it. That means every single person entering has the same chance. Doesn't matter if you're from the United States or Canada or India or South Korea or New Mexico or Alaska. Who cares? You got the same chance as everybody else. All right, so something happened and a lot of the video didn't record, so I have to redo this part. After that, we're going to talk about the nerfs and the buffs, but really quick, how about this? Just put in a comment with three things, your player ID, number one, make sure you copy it and paste it from the game. We need a six-digit in-game player ID, and when the, the, the winners are chosen, Pixonic will send the prize to that player ID, so make sure you type it in right. Number two, we need to know if you're on Android, iOS, Steam, Amazon, My Games, any of those gaming platforms put that in there so we need your player id and your platform plus a special code which is going to be hashtag wr win and the name of the weapon which is runer r-u-i-n-e-r -E hashtag wr win runer needs to be in there with your player id and your platform and remember everybody has the same chance pixonic does send out the prizes once you win down there in the video's description in the pinned comment, I'll just list all the rules and stuff because I messed this whole video up. It's been a disaster so far. And I guess we're going to go start and talk about the nerfs and the buffs. Good luck on the giveaway, everybody. I suck at making videos today, but that's what happens when you don't feel well and things get messed up and everything sucks. Oh, gosh. There is a lot of stuff on the nerf and buff list. I am very dyslexic, so I am not a good reader. So I'm sorry if this doesn't go super smoothly. But when we get to nerfs and buffs that I like or I dislike or I have a problem with it, I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, I don't like this. I wish they wouldn't do this or something. But for the most part, I agree with most of the nerfs and buffs. But there's a couple on here that I'm not super thrilled with. So let's get to the nerfs and the buffs and we'll we'll talk about this. Again, I'm sorry if this doesn't go well. I don't feel good and I'm very dyslexic where I read things messed up. So I'm not great at reading and there's a lot of stuff here. All right, nerfs and buffs, here we go. But first, if you like really awesome things, I'll tag the microphone that I'm currently using. The amazing SE Electronics 4100. The SE Electronics V7. Plus a camera and some lighting that I use to make my videos. These are seriously some of the best items I've found for creating content. So I figured I'd share this with you guys. I will tag all of that directly to the video. Plus in the description, you'll find a link to some really awesome stuff on Amazon. Where you can find all of this stuff and even more. All right, so it appears that there's a brand new robot coming out called the Condor. That is currently on the test server. That is not a nerf or a buff. New weapons, the Howler and the Screamer are coming out. And these I hear are going to be Titan Destroyers. I haven't checked it out yet, but they might be Titan Destroying Robots and Weapons from what I'm understanding. You'll have to go over to the test server yourself on Saturday or Sunday and check it out. Ultimate Griffin and Ultimate Storm are on there, which is pretty awesome, but... The Curry is getting a rebalance, all right? So there's going to be a cooldown on the blink support, it says. There's going to be a cooldown on the cooldown. How about we say that? <laughs> That'll work. It's going to do 30% less damage on the turrets, and it's going to have a 350 meter range on the turrets instead of 600. I'm not exactly upset about this. 
except for the fact that I guess you're only going to get the ability every 14 seconds instead of every 8. 14 is kind of a long time. I would say 10 would be a nice medium fix, sort of. Like I said, I don't feel good. Don't pay attention to what I'm saying today. And it's also going to get a... Uh, increase to movement speed so it's going to get some nerfs and a buff right there and i think i need to fix my thing because it's too small now it's bigger and it's cutting off my face but yeah whatever crisis increase cooldown of stealth from five to seven seconds so that's uh interesting the Dagon is getting a reduced durability. Personally, I don't really see why they're nerfing the Dagon. Everybody's currently running shield breakers and killing it right through the shield. So right now, Dagon's not even that good in my opinion. But anyways, reduced duration of shield. So it's going to get, I don't know if that's a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic. I'm not very good at reading. So the current shield ability lasts for 10 seconds and it's going down to 8 is what that one's saying. And it's going to have a cooldown instead of 10 seconds, it's going to be 12 seconds on the cooldown. It is going to get a 5% increase on movement speed, so there's that I guess. That's kind of nice. That's when the ability is active. And they are increasing the regeneration rate of the shield, so I think that means the shield will regenerate slower. All right, next is the Inquisitor. That crappy old robot is getting a buff. It's going to get a one second cooldown difference, right? It's on 18 now, it's on 17. That thing is still going to suck <laughs> for the most part. Hades is getting more durability going from 233 to 250. So Hades is a really cool robot as long as somebody doesn't hit you with the shield breaker. And it's probably kind of weird only seeing like half of my face in the video but hey that's what it is today the jaeger is getting increased damage of the built-in weapon so that's pretty nice increased bonus to movement speed from scout mode so when you're in the ability or whatever you're going to get a bigger movement speed i'm telling you i suck at speaking today because i don't feel good and increased damage bonus from sniper mode depending on the robot's grade does that mean tier one Tier 2, Tier 3, I don't know what it means by grade, honestly. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Leech is getting more movement speed, so in general he's going to be much faster. So that's a cool buff to the Leech. Nothing crazy, but definitely helps if you're a Leech player. Lynx is getting nerfed. He's getting reduced movement speed from 70 to 62. The increased bonus to movement speed from the, the ability is going to go up. Are down I, I don't know I'm, I don't understand the way they write these things very much they confuse the crap out of me so I guess he's going to have more movement speed in the ability and more and less movement speed in general all right increased cooldown of fer ferocity from nine seconds to 11 seconds so yeah put it this way Lynx is getting a small nerf and a little bit of a buff at the same time Next, we have the Nightingale Reduced Cooldown of Air Support, and I'm sorry if I suck at reading these things. Increased bonus to movement speed from air support depending on the, where'd it go, robot grade again. I don't know what the heck that means. That must be Mark 1, Mark 2, or Mark 3. Ochi Kochi, increased durability, reduced knockback impulse, so he's not going to throw you back as much. 25% less throwback. And reduced acceleration from Stampede, so he's uh, going to be slower in the ability now. The Pathfinder, which I'm surprised to see on the list, reduced damage bonus from Hunter stacks. So it's instead of 20% per stack, you're only going to get 10%. So the Pathfinder is definitely not is going to be as good. Increased repair for destroying enemy robots will under the Hunter effect, meaning you will heal more. So... You're not going to do as much damage, but you're going to get more healing. So that's kind of nice. So we got the Raptor. The Raptor is getting increased movement speed. So they're going to make the Raptor faster. They're reducing the damage from the built-in weapon from 2,480 to 2,000. They're reducing the damage from Comet Splash to 45,000 to 30,000. They're reducing the amount of damage reflected by the Reflector Shield down to 30% instead of 40. And now we're moving on to Revenant. 
So Revenant is getting a buff, which is cool. So basically when you're in the ability, you're not going to take as much gray damage. That's the uh, simple, easy way to put that. Shen Lao, increased blink interval from 3 seconds to 5 seconds. Reduced Aegis Shield accumulation rate. So his Aegis Shield is not going to recharge as fast. And they changed the Aegis profile personal to dome. So that means you can actually get inside of a shield and kill him now instead of having that really tight shield around him that you can't get inside of, I think. So far, I'm not too terribly upset by any of that, except for that's going to be a really long cooldown time on the curry, but I don't know. That may or may, or may, may possibly make him suck. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out when it goes live. But most of that's not so bad or kind of needed, right? All right, so next we're going to be looking at robot weapons. The Aramis, which is the brand new lifesteal weapons. It takes 12 seconds to fully reload. Now it's going to go down to 16, and they're reducing the amount of damage they do. The Athos is going to have a 16-second full reload. And the Avalanche is going to get increased ammo. So the Avalanche shot or rocket systems are going to go from 16 up to 24, so that will make those a lot better. The Blight's increased burst interval from 0 0.8 to 0 to 1.5, so I guess the Blight's are now going to shoot slower, meaning they're going to be doing a lot less damage per second. The Decays are pretty much getting the same thing, and so are the Hazards. So, yeah, those energy weapons the radiation weapons are probably not going to be as good anymore unfortunately those have been some of the best work, uh, weapons you can build in the workshop but they're going to get a little bit of a hit i mean they're still going to be good they're just going to shoot slower which kind of sucks but hey probably like half as slow i'm thinking so the flux is getting increased ammo so the flux will be a little bit better but those weapons totally suck so i wouldn't play them anyway the Hurricane weapons are getting reduced damage, so they're not going to do as good. So a lot of people have been complaining that the Hurricanes are way too strong in the lower leagues. So they are reducing the amount of damage on the Hurricane for you lower league players. Nobody plays those in Champion League because they're kind of crappy weapons that just don't do enough damage. But it sounds like in the lower leagues, they've become a big problem. So they are reducing the amount of damage on the Hurricanes for you guys. I know a lot of people have been asking for that, actually. Jaw Claw and Talons are going to have a 5-second reload instead of a 6-second. Those, those things are still probably going to suck. I wouldn't play them. The Limbing Fang Bow are increased burst interval from 0 to 6 to 0 0.3. So those are going to shoot slower. And they also have an increased full reload. So, eh. They now have a 6 second reload and it's going to be 10. So those are those little mini Tesla weapons probably won't be anybody's top choice anymore after they do that. Magnetars. This is one I'm a little bit upset about. They are reducing the amount of damage on the Magnetars. These have been my favorite white light weapons for a long time. And now they're going to do less damage. I don't really like that. But they are going to increase the lockdown, so they will lock you down faster, but they will not hit you as hard. Alright, so the ice launchers like the Marana, the Chayon, and the Jotuns are increased burst intervals, meaning they're going to shoot slower now, which sucks. I don't think those are going to be weapons that I will use after the nerf, unfortunately. The Scotty, the Snare, and the Hell, these are weapons that are almost unplayable right now. Instead of having a reload interval of 3, they're going to go to 2.5, meaning these weapons will reload faster. And I don't know, guys. I don't know. They're pretty much unplayable junk at the moment, so this might make them playable. Maybe. We'll have to test those out and find out. The Shafangs are getting an increased burst. So they're going to shoot slower, and they're going to increase the reload time. So the Shafang weapons... Probably not going to be that good anymore. The Spark is getting increased ammo capacity, so the Sparks will now shoot for a longer period of time. The Sparks are cool weapons, but they do have a lock-on, which is why nobody really plays them in Champion League. But, uh, hey, that's an improvement to the Sparks. The Subduers reduced damage. That is uh, bad for me, because I love those weapons. 
currently they have 600 meter range they're going down to 500 meter range and they're not going to shoot as fast so that's going to be a big hit on the subduers they're going to be going from one of the best weapons to the in the game to not really all that great and they're also going to be nerfing the ultimate shock trains which is really good because the ultimate shock trains completely needed the nerf like it they need the nerf big time those things are just way too much they're destroying everything so those are getting nerfed and i hope it's a really big gigantic nerf that makes them so they're just good and not redonkulous all right so now we're moving over to the nerfs and buffs on the titans the bedware is getting a reduced duration of this force field from seven nine seconds down to seven all right that's cool Reduced repair from passive ability from 2.6 to 2.1, so it's not going to get as much repair. And reduced durability bonus from absorbing damage with the barrier. It was at 35%, and now it's going down to 25%. So I can, I can deal with that. No big deal to me. Eiffel, reduced durability? Sure, sounds good. Reduced duration of the cannoner from 8 seconds to 6 seconds? All right, I can deal with that. Reduced durability bonus from Canada from 450 to 225. So that's going to be a uh, that's going to that's going to be a big deal right there for the durability of him when he goes up in the air. Reduced damage bonus for additional weapons. We're at 45% and now they are going down to 25%. So that is also a big deal. So the Eiffel is not going to be as crazy and they're going to also do a reduced cooldown of the debut from seven seconds to six seconds so that robot's going to be good but it's not going to be like great anymore i think that's going to pretty much balance it out a little bit more heimdall is getting a bunch bunch of buffs right increased movement speed from 47 to 50 so he's going to go faster increased damage bonus for nearby allies from 15 to 20 percent so when he's in one of the modes anybody near him is going to get more damage which is cool increased defense points from 110 to 150 that is awesome increased damage of the shapeshift attack plus 20 percent that is awesome increased damage of the golden horn plus 20 percent that is awesome reduced defense points oh that's luchador i'm sorry now we're going to move on to luchador and this one i'm a little bit unhappy with i i kind of hope they don't go through with this because i don't feel like the luchador needs changed all right so dear pixonic please leave our luchador alone that's one of the few good titans people can actually get with their game resources that they're actually good it's already like really weak compared to the mauler or the eiffel so it's just it's just a nice balanced titan as it is so please leave this one, uh, one please leave this one alone pixonic so it's going to get reduced defense points from 170 down to 120 and the reduced duration of the ultimate defense from 8 seconds to 5 seconds. That may or may not be as big of a deal as it sounds like, but I really would like to see them leave the Luchador as it is. I think it's fine the way it is. Next, we have the Rook. This is another one I don't want to see them rebalance. The Rook is fine the way it is. Please don't touch our Rook. Please leave our Rook alone. We, we, we don't need the Rook or the Luchador to be nerfed. But they're actually reducing the durability of the frontal shields to be the same as that on the rear. So the front shields are going to be less durable. They're reducing the repair from the shield replacement from 120 to 60. So that's only going to be half. I've got a bad feeling Rook is not going to be good. The good news is all these numbers can change. None of this is set in stone. This is just kind of, well, you know, proposed being tested on the test server any of these numbers can change but i'm not very pleased to see that the rook and the luchador are being changed next up nodens is getting a re reduced disposal cooldown from 15 to 18 seconds so hey that makes nodens a little bit better nodens is doing pretty well i just i've been playing it for a few days and it's been doing pretty good next we have the sharenga he gets an increased slowing effect of phase exile from 30 to 45 percent 
and I still hate the Sharenga. I don't think it's going to be any good, even if they do buff it a little bit. So Sharenga, no thanks. That's what I say. Next, we're going to have some Titan weapons, the Basilic Crate increased ammo. So those are getting a buff. Dazzler Lantern increased ammo getting a buff. Discordia Tolumbus increased shot interval. So they're going to shoot a little bit from 0 0.13 to 0.2. So I think that's I think that's a nerf, man. The rate of fire will no longer increase when firing continuously. So they're not going to start shooting faster anymore. So that's a little bit of a nerf. Gargantua Panagrel increased the cone angle in which the weapons were to go deal damage. So there's not going to be as wide of a spread. So it's going to be, you know, a thinner spread of the weapons on the angle that they can shoot people. I suck at this today. All right, the Inferno weapons reduce damage from 5,000 to 4,000, increase the cooling period when the weapons overheat from 2 to 5, so the, the flamethrowers are probably going to maybe suck a little bit after this. The Pyro is pretty much getting the same type of thing, reduce damage, increasing the cooling period when the weapons overheat, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. 2 to 5, yeah. I don't know if that's a nerf or a buff, honestly. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Like I said, man, for a dyslexic guy that sees things backward and your your mind changes things around on you, some things are a little hard to understand for me. So I don't know if that's a nerf or a buff on the cooldown. I can't quite figure that one out. I apologize. Next, we're going to have some drones getting nerfs and buffs. So the barrel drone changed the activation threshold on low durability. Damage on low durability speed from 20 cent. 20 to 30 so that's getting a buff iron hearth reduced cooldown of frozen hearth on iron hearth from 20 to 10 so that's getting a buff kestrel reduced damage bonus from death mark from 15 to 10 so that's getting a nerf added a time limit on the kill speed for 15 seconds so that's getting a second nerf Next, the pascal reduced repair from on threshold fix from 21 percent to 13 and the 13 7 on gray damage, reduced bonus from on kill, assist bonus from 7 to 4% per stack, 35 to 20, change threshold on the fix, and the threshold resist from 30, 50, 70 to 30, 60. So that Pascal is probably not going to be one of the best drones anymore after this. The Shy drone reduced duration. All right, reduced duration of last stand from 5 to 3 seconds, so that actually sucks. 3 second last stand is noticeable, but nowhere near as good as 5. On low durability speed now only activates once per deployment. All right, so uh, the Shy and the Pascal drones are my two favorites, and those are both probably not going to be my two favorites anymore. And then we have pilots. The autopilot is getting a reduced rate of fire bonus from 35 to 25. In my opinion, the autopilot wasn't even good. It barely made those weapons shoot fast enough to be noticeable. Now it's going to be even less. So if you have an autopilot, you're probably not going to want to run that anymore. And the, the curry pilot, the Zoe, is going to reduce the ability charge bonus from 25 to 15%. So... The Curry Pilot there is getting a pretty big nerf as well. All right, so as a dyslexic guy who absolutely sucks at reading, I apologize if I did a big bad job at that. There's just so much, and like I said, when I read things, my brain switches the letters to different spots, and we read things backwards and upside down, so it's very hard to read well when you're dyslexic, so I apologize if that was bad. But... All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you drop down the video's description or the pinned comment, you'll see some ways to help support the channel, some links to some news and info that you might want to check out. Huge extra shout out to all my channel members. Thank you guys so much for the extra support. It really helps out big time. If you want to become a channel member, simply click the little join button right below the video. And I really just want to say this right here. Kick it off, other Danny Lightning. Thanks for watching my video. I hate to say, but it's time to go. Maybe you can watch another one. That might be really fun. Thanks for watching my video.